Media can go offline for a whole host of reasons, but the two most common is if the files were physically moved from where the editing program thinks that they should be, or if the files were deleted. We're going to do the first practice where we move files physically from where the program thinks they should be, and Premiere should open up and say, hey, you have files offline, where can we find them, and then we'll show you how to do that. So what I have is I have the Greyhounds project folder where I have all of our footage that we imported in the earlier movie. But I've also created this empty folder that I just simply called Moved Media. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of my clips here and I'm going to physically drag them and drop them in this Moved Media. So since we imported everything from this Greyhounds folder, there's now nothing in here. And when we start Premiere, it will alert us and saying, hey, I don't know where those files are anymore. They're not where we used to have them. What do you want me to do? Let's talk a little bit about some of these settings. On the bottom left hand corner we have match file properties. Uh, you notice that by default the file name and file extension is selected. So what that's doing is it's telling Premiere, hey, when you go to search for these files for me, uh, I want you to match the file name and the file extension. I don't want you to grab other files that might be similar to what you're trying to find. So you want to leave those selected. Over on the right, we really want to leave all these selected as a default, but there's one that's really important, and that's this middle one here that says relink others automatically. And what that does is when you go to find the first clip, it will look around and other folders that are around that clip, and it will also try to find any other clips in your project and import those automatically for you, so you don't have to go one by one and try to find them. Down here on the bottom, we have offline all, offline, cancel, and locate. These first two, offline, all, and offline, that's basically you telling Premiere, hey, I know they're offline, I did that on purpose, and you can go into the program and you can do whatever you want, and it will not try to find or relink the files for you. If I could hit locate and then start the relinking process. However, I'm going to hit cancel to show you what it looks like. With our project open, we can see all the visual indications that we have offline media. First and foremost, you'll notice in the program monitor that it has this red screen that says Media Offline in multiple languages. Uh, down in the timeline, all of your clips have now turned to red, uh, and you can scrub, and it all they just say is uh, Media Offline. And the other thing is down in the project pane, what once had uh, these video icons, we are now turned into a question mark. We can import a single clip, or we can import all the clips in a bin or a project. Um, the first way that we'll show you how to do it is importing an individual clip. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to click on the first clip. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose link media from the contextual window that pops up. And you see we get back into that link media window. I'm going to leave all of my options that uh, we talked about earlier and I'm going to hit locate. Once the locate window appears you can see at the very top it says what file you're trying to locate. This is very important. It shows you where Premiere thinks that it should be, and this is where you're going to physically try to find it. Now, you can come over here to this left column, and you can select anywhere that you think that it might be. I could select the moved media if I know that it's there, and I could hit the search, and then it will go and try to find all those files in there. But let's say we didn't know that it was in there. I could select the ITV practice footage, and then it will search through all the subfolders in that folder to try to find my media. I could even go further out. I could select the Macintosh HD. Now this is probably the easiest way to find something. You just click on the hard drive and hit search and then Premiere will search your entire hard drive for that file. However, just note that the further up in the hierarchy you go, the longer it will take to search. So if you can get as close to where you think you know the footage is, that's the quickest way to find files. We, well, we know it's in moved media, but let's go up a couple just so we can see how it works. I'm going to click on the projects folder and I'm going to hit search. So it found a whole slew of video clips for us here. And let's go back to the top part of our window, the last path. Again, this is where Premiere thinks that the file should be. It's looking for Ali fetches onemov And it noticed the first clip that it brought in happens to be Ali Fetches 1 because that is the clip that it's looking for. Now, once we click OK, which is grayed out at the moment, but once we click, click OK, 
because that option that we had to relink other associated files, it will go out and try to automatically link all of the associated media when we do this. But OK is grayed out because even though it's highlighted, it's not really selected. I, if I select the first clip that it suggests, the OK button now becomes visible and I can click OK. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's click OK. And now we can come over to our project pane and now we see our familiar icon where it says Ali fetches onemov and it has the video and audio icon. Now let's relink multiple clips. We can do this bin, this home stretch for instance. All I have to do is just right click on the bin and go to link media. And now we can see that there's a whole bunch of clips that it cannot find. In fact, if we look in the bottom left, it says process zero of 21 clips. So it can't find 21 clips. So the first clip that it's trying to find is this Barbara medium shot play fetch .mov. Once we go find that file using the same workflow that we did earlier, and because we have relink others automatically, it should find every file in, uh, in that home stretch bin. So let's try it. So let's hit locate. And remember, I can select any hierarchy here that I think that it might be in. I'll just go ahead and select uh, the, we selected the projects folder last time. Let's go one up just to show how it works. I'll select the ITV practice footage and hit search. And it looks like it highlighted this clip here, which happens to be Barbara Medium Shot Play Fetch. If I go back to my reference, the file that we're looking for is in fact Barbara Medium Shot Play Fetch. So I'm going to click on it and then click OK. It finds all of the other clips. If we can confirm that by looking in the project pane, we now have all of the icons there. And now this timeline over here, since it was created with all of the uh, B-roll clips in that folder, it now is appearing and not offline.